Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I'm gonna mount this IBM X slash E series 336 which is a really old server it's around I think it's about 2000 or something like that um, I just want to play with it I just want to put it in the rack power it up maybe install some kind of an operating system uh, depending on how difficult it is just just to see it run while you're at it please give me that thumbs up it's right down here somewhere down there the server comes with rails like this and the rails go into the rack with cheese like this uh, it's like a locking mechanism there's like a little stiff you have to press that out and move this and it's locked into place and then when you release this it will lock with these there's some cheese right there and just try and remove that and these teeth go into the into the rack. Let's see it in real life. This says where they have to go. This is right front. So this is like this. And this one is obviously left front. So that is gonna go in like this. So I'm gonna mount it in the lower as low as possible and I'm just gonna move this back and put it in here and just press this one and it will go click and it's locked into place. The same thing with this one over here and put it in here. Now it's locked in place in front of it. Let's go around the back. Here we are on the back of the server and I have to put these in place. Uh, I've counted that one U is three of these holes. So I have to go down three holes and put this in right around there. And press this little one and it's locked into place. It's not going anywhere. To uh, unleash it, I have to press this in and pull this back. Over here, I have a, I have another problem. This is not able to go back for far enough to catch on to this, and that's because this system is is um, meant for more than one size of racks. There's like two holes here, and that's two holes that different rack sizes and to to do that there's a little ladder and back in front of the server again and this system is um, there's nothing coming out here the these small things are meant for the server to slide in there um, so we're gonna see how that works It's in there. The server comes, or the rail system comes with this thing for cable management on the server. Um, I'm gonna go around and put it in, and when it's in, I'll bring the camera and show you what it looks like. There's not enough room for sitting, mounting, and filming. Okay, the system is in. Um, it's it's a it's a bit flumpy. It's well, it connects here with a little thingy over there that you press and you put in like that. And down here, it it has to go into some slots and. 
you lock it in place with, with a little handle over here and the cables the power cables are supposed to go in here and all the other cables come in here and well yeah I don't like it much but I guess it's it could probably work okay okay we're gonna connect some cables to it and I'm just gonna steal the power from this HP server up here some half of the power and plug that in and I have another power connection right there and we have a monitor connector right there and mouse and keyboard coming down there oh they can't reach that's miserable well then mouse and keyboard will be a USB connection hopefully that will work and that should be good enough. I'm not going to connect the network yet. And we're going to power it on, see what happens. The fan blows up to full speed and turns, turns off again. And we have a connection. IBM e server. One gig of RAM, 300, 3 gigahertz. Press F1 for setup. Is that working? Yeah, I think so. Booting to setup. We have some errors. I mean, don't know what that is yet, but let's see what that is. Configuration error was detected. Let's see. Apparently, one of the disks are not available. The slave disk. Okay, and what is the other one? Slave device not working as it should. Okay, I think I'm gonna power down the server and unplug the slave drive and put it back in see what happens if that helps the problem I can hear this hard drive it has failed it's not good yeah it seems that this disk is broken so we're gonna turn off the server again and try and take this disc out. There we are. And it's an 80 gigabytes SATA disc. Uh, it's rather old, so I found another one. This is a 160 gigabyte. So I'm gonna put that in instead. This. and it sees the two drives now that's nice very nice 
I'm gonna try and see if it will run this Windows Server 2008. It's probably stretching it quite a bit, but let's let's put that in the CD-ROM. It's not every day that I use one of these. So. Let's escape, save settings, and exit setup, and yes, I'll see if we can find the boot order somewhere. will boot from the CD even though it's I hope it's a CD ROM it's a DVD cool Let's see what happens mm. okay it should be booting from the CD now it's blinking and it's starting Windows installer This is probably going to take a while. Okay. It installed server 2008, which is pretty good for an old server like this. Let's see what we got. We have an Intel 3 gigahertz. It's a Xeon TM. There's one gigabyte of RAM, and we have installed 64-bit operating system, or a 64-bit operating system. It seems the processor has hyperthreading, so there is two threads. These are my IBM 3650 model 1 and they have each of them has two processors and they're all X 5450s and I just found this processor here on processor benchmark uh, CPU benchmark it's actually called but it has a it gets a number of 4,218. That probably doesn't say very much, but 4,218 is considerably more than, than this CN 3 gigahertz, which only gets 398. So the processors up in these servers, each of them is 10 times faster than the one that we just installed server 2008 on so that's that's a lot I just downloaded this program so that we could run the test let's see if we can find it and let install let's install the test three one one And it's a 30-day trial version, that's fine. Let's continue that. And it's gathering system information. This usually takes a while. I'm just gonna shut down everything else. I actually want to see this. Hmm. Run benchmark. Are you sure? Yes. So now it's checking the processor. That's going to be exciting to see how fast this is.
checking the graphics card. I think this is 2D graphics. Pretty sure that this is 2D graphics. Uh, it's, it's very slow. Okay, the computer got a result of 320. Let's see what that 320 is. Not a lot. Uh, it's way below anything else. CPU benchmark actually a bit higher, 480.6 compared to the 398. <laughs> 2D graphics, not very good. And it couldn't test the 3D graphics because I don't have the right software installed. There are some memory tests, not doing very good either. And hard disk, it's not a very fast hard disk, so yeah. All in all, it's not doing very well. These are the fastest processors currently available. And uh, well, the fastest one is doing 24,600. And this CPU in the IBM X336 is doing 480. That one is like 48 times as fast and some. Well, I hope you got something out of this. It's a nice little funny toy. It's not really worth anything. It can be bought on the internet on eBay, but it's way too expensive compared to what you otherwise could get. So don't buy it. If you get it for free, it's a good funny toy just to try and install something on it. Um, thank you for watching, do subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up and have a really nice day. Bye bye!